good morning. Welcome back to the broadcast for Retirement Network. I'm Jeff Snyder. This is BRNAM for Wednesday, October 6th, 2021. And our top story today, on tour to protect income in retirement. Joining me now to discuss this and a lot more, Gene Statler is the Chief Executive Officer and Cyrus Bamji is the Head of Communications for the Alliance for Lifetime Income. Gene, Cyrus, great to see you. Thanks so much for joining us on the program this morning. Thank you. Thanks. Exciting. It is exciting. I'm looking, I can see down into the stage behind you. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm ready for the sound check. So, Gene, I want to start with you. Let's start with some basics here. Who is the Alliance for Lifetime Income and why sponsor the Rolling Stones for a second year? Sure. The Alliance for Lifetime Income is a consumer education campaign that actually educates people, pre-retirees and people in retirement about how to have protected income in retirement. Because actually we're in the middle of a retirement income crisis. And so this is an education program to do that. And why the stones? Three yeah. reasons. One, every single person who comes in to see the stones today and the rest of their tour, if they don't have an annuity, they should have an annuity or even think about it. The second reason is because of this crisis, what's happened over the years is we've been self-funded in our retirement. The pensions are going down. More people are in 401ks and, and not knowing how to convert their 401ks into income when they do stop getting their regular paycheck. So this is a complete overlap in terms of the audience, in terms of the crisis that we face of people outliving their money. And then the third reason really has to do with who better epitomizes the new retirement than the Rolling Stones. They're not retiring. In fact, we can see them at the next show with you. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's, it's exciting. Those guys are really like, They've had second, third, fourth careers. It's absolutely amazing. Cyrus, I have to ask you, and we'll get into some of the more de of the details about what visitors can expect in a minute, but what's it like going on tour together the, with the Alliance and the Rolling Stones? I mean, it has to be absolutely amazing uh, to, to bring these two great brands together. You know what's amazing <clears throat> about uh, being on tour, both in 2019 when we did the first one and now in this second one, and we're on our second tour stop here, in Charlotte, North Carolina, beautiful Charlotte. The amazing thing is the fans. I mean, the band is incredible, Jeff, no question about it. And they just rock it every single time, every single year. You know, I mean, they're just, you know, unstoppable. However, when you talk to the fans, that's what's amazing to me. And having been uh, both Gene and I to multiple concerts now, uh, you know, in many cities, I could tell you that the, the fans continue to amaze us. That's really what it is. They are all people living their fullest life. And that's that's the beauty of it. However, we have found that when they come to our exhibit that we have over here right outside the stadium, they come by three, four hours before the show. They stop in. They play games. We've got games over there. And they learn about annuities and protected income. And when they do, surprisingly, we've been able to get them to open up about their plans for retirement, their fears in retirement. And when they hear about protected income, even at a concert like this, it lights them up. So, you know, the fans are amazing. Yeah, that, I, I totally agree. And, and I mean, it's, it's such a rich heritage, the Rolling Stones, and together a rich heritage of protecting income. Gene, uh, you, you talked a little bit, and Cyrus talked a little bit about this, but when people come to not only Charlotte, but to the other tour stops around the United States, what can they expect to see from the Alliance for Lifetime Income? Uh, actually, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, they're already coming with their party hats on to, to attend the concert, maybe even living their dream by saving their money to actually afford one of these tickets to the Stones concert. And as soon as they step on, the grounds of the stadium where uh, the Alliance for Lifetime Income has this educational exhibit next to the merchandise um, uh, tent for the Rolling Stones. And what they'll get is fun, you know, games, Rolling Stones trivia. Um, and, and it's really a great opportunity for us to, to uh, it's a teachable moment is the way I talk about it in that they open up to, yeah, you know, I hadn't thought about my retirement. I can't 
afford to retire. I don't know how to convert my 401k. So when they're there killing time for three hours, just because they're so excited to be here and the gates have opened, it's our opportunity to um, actually have a conversation with them. And, and with some of the games that we play uh, with them, with the trivia and the, and the skeet ball, um, they'll get some stones, um, uh, paraphernalia and, and uh, you know, hats and shirts and things like that. So it's, they come to it knowing that um, they're gonna play some games and then they're waiting in line and that's when we just strike up a conversation with them. Yeah, and hopefully uh, it sounds like they're really engaged, Cyrus. And, and you know, I think you and Jean both talked about this, but what, do the, what does this all represent? Um, you know, the Stones, the fans, when it comes to retirement, savings, that second career, that third career, protecting income. You know, we're facing a lot of inflation uh, and I can't think of a better time to lock in savings. Uh, but, but what does all this represent? I wouldn't even say it's savings. And I'll give you an anecdote of, uh, or give you an anecdote from one of the fans that I talked to just this morning, actually, who we were talking about retirement. And he's not retired, but he's planning on retiring in the next few years. And, you know, I kind of struck up the conversation, asked him, you know, if I don't, if you don't mind, what age are you, et cetera, et cetera, like we typically do. He gave me that age. I kind of hit him over the head with this question. I said, do you realize, or this statement, do you realize you may live 20 or 30 more years in retirement? Now think about what you've done over the past 30 years, what your life has been like. And now think about another 30 years. How are you going to fund that? How are you going to make sure that that money lasts throughout those 30 years? And I got to tell you, his reaction was, okay, I'm not retiring ever. <laughs> so it really does strike people when they think about the fact that you know, longevity, this term longevity that we have in the industry over here is so, um, sounds alien to the average consumer out there. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna live longer, but when you make it, break it down real to how many years it could be and what were you doing 20 years ago, think about how young you were then and think about how older, you, how much older you're gonna be, it makes it real. I was gonna mention one other thing to what Gene was talking about in terms of the exhibit. So this tour, We've put together this campaign, which we, it has been a big hit. Uh, it's called a bucket list campaign. And we know that everybody around, <clears throat> whether you're retired, retiring, or heck, my kids have bucket lists, right? Everyone has a bucket list of things that they want to accomplish and do in life. What we have done over here, and we've talked about this before, annuities help you, can help you pay for your essential expenses at the time. Right? They can pay for your monthly essential expenses, your mortgage, your utilities, et cetera. Now, if you had an annuity to cover that, you've got the rest of your savings to be free to go pursue the things on your bucket list. This has really hit a nerve with a lot of consumers out there who everyone has it, right? It's a cultural pop icon, as we call it, you know, bucket list. So connecting bucket list achievements that you want to go through to having an annuity has been very, very fun. Us, and we're doing it here at the show. Well, I have one. I, I need to go to a commercial break. I just want to point this out. I have one item on my bucket list, and that is to play with the Rolling Stones. I'm hoping you guys <laughs> can make that happen. But let me take a very quick break. And we come back, we'll talk more with Gene and Cyrus, and we'll talk about education and the backbone, forming the backbone of the Alliance for Lifetime Income. You're going to want to stay tuned right here on BRN AM. Imagine a new television network that will make you richer, healthier, and in control of your financial future. This network is for the policewoman in Nashville, Tennessee, the baker in Dubuque, Iowa, the teacher in Lexington, Kentucky. We want to make the idea of savings and retirement culturally relevant. But what do you see as a defining issue of the midterms? Especially for the smaller businesses. I mean, they are the lifeblood of the American economy. Featuring exclusive interviews, current affairs, and docu-series. 
33 yeah. years old, you retired early. The philosophy is money only matters if it helps you live a life that you love. But you gotta start thinking about retirement as soon as you get in. The Broadcast Retirement Network will drive very high engagement with premium partnerships. So this isn't retirement and savings for your parents or grandparents. This is for all Americans. And we're gonna change the way you think about money. Welcome to the next frontier of retirement and savings. This is BRN, the Broadcast Retirement Network. You need a financial plan that fits the way you want to live in retirement. A plan that can help grow and protect your money, now or in the future. With an annuity in your plan to help cover essential expenses, you'll have the freedom to live the retirement you want. This is what an annuity can do. Find the right financial professional to show you how. Learn more at protectedincome.org. Welcome back. We're talking to Gene Statler and Cyrus Bamji of the Alliance for Lifetime Income. Gene and Cyrus, thanks so much for staying with us this morning. Pleasure. Thank yeah, and I'm, I'm, so, I'm so happy you didn't leave us to go uh, mingle out with the band um, and, and the rest of the fans, but you will do... <laughs> What's that? Be with us. You can play your guitar. There you go. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that I get the call up very soon. Uh, Cyrus, I want to kind of build on what we talked about in the first segment. Education. It's the backbone of what the Alliance stands for, and it's really something that you are, uh, you know, wholeheartedly committed to throughout not only this concert series, but through the entire year. Yeah, no doubt about that. And Gene can talk a little more about this as well. The uh, it is the backbone of what we do. Um, but, you know, people talking finances is never a fun topic for anybody, frankly, um, whether you're rich or poor, you know, it's just not one of those topics that folks like to do. So the what we've been very good and successful with in trying to explain about protected income and the need for that is making it fun, simple, and connecting it back to, you know, there's that old saying that goes, you don't buy a screwdriver uh, or a drill because you love the way the drill looks. You get a drill to, to make holes in the wall. And that's what we're trying to focus on over here. It's not that you're buying the annuity and what it can do, and I'm sorry, what it is. It's what it can do for you. And trying to break that down for the average consumer out there um, is, a, is, a, is like a daily job. And I think before the Alliance started, it, there really were a lot of myths out there about annuities in terms yeah. of, of misinformation, really. And, and so these, these life insurance companies and asset managers where they invest the assets of the, of the um, annuities um, came together saying we really do need to, to be a voice in the darkness, if you will, to, to correct the misperceptions this really is and should be and could be a big part of a a part of your retirement income and it, you invest in it now and later is is when you have the payout and i can give you jeff my own personal story i started with the alliance i've i um have work, been working in washington for years many more than than uh, most people who work there now and uh really had worked hard saved I had a four, have a 401k, an IRA, never even crossed my mind about an annuity, nor did the financial planner that I have actually too, to, to even mention it. And when I came back and learned what I learned at the Alliance in terms of how this could be a part, this could be a guaranteed income, this could be something that I could count on through the ups and downs of the market, um, is when I went back to them and said, listen, this is, we, we need to actually have a conversation about this. And since that time, I now have two and they don't kick in until one of them kicks in when I'm 72 and one kicks in when I'm 80. And if, and if I don't live to be 72 or 80, then they go to, to my children. So, so there really are a lot of benefits to, to that, that I didn't know as perfectly in the middle of this cohort, this going you know, the boomer generation. And, um, and it's really fascinating the more I learn and to correct these misperceptions. And, 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 and it's also an evolving marketplace, Gene and Cyrus. And Gene, um, you know, the new products, new services, but let's talk about, you know, it, there's not just boomers going to the Rolling Stones. There are all generations of people going to the Rolling Stones. 
And yeah. it's important to get out in front and learn these things, whether you're a retiree or a pre-retiree, a, a Gen Xer, a Gen like myself, or a Gen a Gen Z or a millennial, right? I mean, you got to understand what all these different investment instruments are so that you can take advantage and not make the mistakes that maybe your parents made or other people, your grandparents made. So the, so actually the other part of it, um, my daughter's working here at the concert with <laughs> us. And so she didn't have to support me um, because if I run out of money, who am I going to turn to? I'm turning to my kids. I supported you all these years. Now you, you, need, to, you need to give it back. So this is actually uh, education for them too, so that they won't get into this situation. And now I'm kind of have, have made the right choices to, um, to, to not be a, a burden to them. To build Cyrus, on what, go ahead, Cy. Just to build on what she was saying, the last, uh, last tour, I sat next to a couple of, actually a couple of seats over, a lady who, a grandmother, a mother, and her daughter, three of them together at this concert. First time the three of them had got together probably in years, they said, um, but they were doing it at the Rolling Stones concert. Long story short, at the breaks, we got up, we started this conversation between the three of them and the importance of having that discussion with different generations about retirement planning, finances, where that money is going to go. I'm standing there, you know, 10 rows from the front stage with these ladies. And we're talking about this for the first time that they've never that they've never done. Now, that's that's remarkable that you can have that kind of conversation, breakthrough conversation, because they've never talked about this before when you have this opportunity in front of the stones. So thank you, Stones. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Cyrus, I want to come back to you because building on the myths and misconceptions, these products have evolved. How have they evolved? How have they changed? You know, these are this isn't your mom or dad's annuity product. They now have different types of riders and structures that pay out beneficiaries. They start at different dates. There's a, a fixed annuity. There's, uh, you know, variable annuities and all things in between. They've really evolved, haven't they? Yeah, very much so. A lot of innovation has gone in probably in the past five to 10 years, uh, slowly but surely. But today there are a multitude of products and and the way that we like to explain annuities, because they are can be complex to explain, right? The different varieties, the different types, is they really are solutions to a problem that you have in your retirement portfolio or your plan. If you think of them as a solution for a variety of different problems you may have, you may be looking for advantages in terms of your tax savings. Um, you may be looking for advantages. You want income for life. You want income for a short period of time to bridge yourself from, say, age 62 to 67 before you start taking Social Security. So there's a lot of going back to the, t the term. They think of them more as solutions versus actual products. Um, and there's a solution that an annuity can solve or virtually. And an, there's, a, there's an annuity that can solve any solution that you have or can be a solution to just about any problem you have in your portfolio. I would yeah. just build on that too. I really think the innovation of the industry and the manufacturers of life insurance products has really evolved and they're incredibly innovative. And, and I would say spot on um, in terms of depending on what you're trying to solve, there's probably a, a product and, and it's no longer just commission based. They do a lot of fee based. There's no fees on some. I mean, it, it's, it's incredible in terms of the, the panoply of, of products that are out there now depending on on the uh, problem that you're trying to solve but the key is the financial planner the advisor yep. and if they don't understand it and if they don't understand your problem and make that connection to a solution then you need to get a new financial planner a new advisor because they're not doing you um, a favor yeah and, and it sounds like guys and cyrus i'll come to you and um you know, in terms of education there's opportunities to educate not only the individual investor but also these financial professionals looking to ramp up their practices maybe uh, there's going to be a huge wealth transfer at some point from the boomer generation to younger generations there's really an opportunity to go on the alliance website to get the tools and resources to educate uh, whether you're a consumer or a financial professional that's exactly uh, that's a Great point. Yes, on the website, we have a specific area of the website just for financial professionals called the Financial Professional Resource Center. 
And there, a lot of our materials are content, education materials and content, presentations that they can use with their clients to explain annuities, the solution they're trying to solve for in their portfolio. But I want to go back to your point that you just said in terms of financial professionals in general. What we have found over here is <clears throat> over the past 20, 30 years, it's not that financial professionals aren't recommending annuities because, that, because they're bad necessarily, which is a lot of those myths that have been out there. A lot of financial professionals don't know how to use annuities in their planning. And you know it requires an understanding of insurance and it requires certifications in that area. So there are some hurdles for a lot of financial professionals out there but if they're, to, to Gene's point, if they're going to act in their client's best interests, they have to consider where protected income fits into a really well-rounded, it's great portfolio. And so we are there to help them with tools, resources, and materials to, to do that. Yeah, well, I, I will say from my point of view, you, you, you all are doing a wonderful job. This is a great and very different way of engaging the audience, um, very unique. And uh, I thank you both so much for joining us on the program. And I want to wish you a, a great night and great time at tonight's gig. And uh, enjoy the rest of the tour. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks, Jeff. If you're someone who is planning for retirement, go to protectedincome.org to get some of the best information, tools, and stories about how protected income from an annuity can give you the freedom to live the life you want in retirement. And if you're a financial professional, go to resources.protectedincome.org. The Alliance has tons of great resources, tools, and information that you can download and use with your clients to explain how annuities help provide protected income your clients can count on in retirement. That wraps up this episode of BRN AM. Have a topic of interest, someone you think we should talk to, drop us a line. And don't forget, for all the information in retirement, markets, technology, personal finance, so much more, check out today's edition of our daily. Snyder, stay safe, keep on saving, and don't forget, roll with the changes. Are you being audited and do you owe the IRS $10,000 or more in back taxes? Is the IRS threatening to take more of your money? Don't fight the IRS alone. The Tax Doctor is here to help you negotiate your tax bill and reduce your stress. The IRS can freeze your assets and seize your bank accounts, but you can stop these IRS actions. The Tax Doctor will work with you using our years of experience to represent your case to help you get the best resolution under the IRS guidelines. Help is here to deal with the IRS to reduce your stress. We've handled thousands of cases, so we know what we're doing. If you owe $10,000 or more in back taxes, do not call the IRS alone. Call a Tax Doctor now for a tax emergency analysis. Call 800-224-6439.